Hey there, algebra students. Uh, this is just a review or an introduction to how I want you to take notes this semester uh, for algebra. Um, there's uh, five components of it. I'm going to have you make a table of contents. Uh, I'm going to have you do goal setting and reflection. There's going to be another video about that stuff, so we're not going to worry about it this time. Um, we're going to do Cornell notes. Uh, we're going to include our practice that we do for Khan Academy on uh, er, in our notebook, and then we're going to do project preparations. Um, this notebook is uh, something that I, I need you to do in order to try to improve your performance on different tasks through Khan Academy, as well as to prepare for the projects that you do. Um, it's my experience, and I did kind of an experiment last semester with one of my classes, that if you are taking good notes over the Khan Academy videos that you watch in order to try to learn something new, um, that you will be in much better shape when you have to practice that or um, when you have to prove that you know it on a mastery challenge. And so um, here's a couple of things that I want you to do. Now I'm going to give you a composition notebook uh, to put all this in. Um, and so on the front you want to put your name and your hour, that kind of stuff. Um, but when you get into it, I need you to make a table of contents and you can kind of divide your book up. I'm going to use the smart tools here. Um, and of course, you're going to write um, by hand or draw the lines yourself. Um, so I'm going to divide my notebook up sort of like this, um, and I'm going to put uh, some information up here at the top. I'm going to write table of contents. I kind of missed there a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to put it in the right spot. So I'm labeling my page table of contents. Um, the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure I number my pages. Um, I ask, um, I'm, going to, I'm going to ask you to number the front and back of each page um, so that you don't waste any space. Um, so I have my table of contents, it's on page one. Um, and then down here, you're going to keep sort of a running log of all the stuff you do this semester. Um, and so I'm going to make uh, my first entry here for the first thing that I'm going to do. Uh, it's going to be on page three, and it's going to be over uh, units. That's going to be, that is the exact name of the Khan Academy thing that I'm going to look at and over which I'm going to take notes. And so I'm going to put units right there, and then I'm going to add parenthetically, whoops, that it is an algebra topic. Um, and that's because I've assigned it to you as an algebra topic. There's lots of stuff you have to learn this semester, and some of it may be pre-algebra. And so it would be good in your table of contents to distinguish those things um, so that you know what to review, like say when you're looking at your end of course exam or something like that. Um, you may notice that I put page three, which means I'm going to leave the back of my page of contents blank um, so that I can spill over onto the back of this page if, in the event that I have more topics uh, than fill on the, or fit on the page. Um, so that's basically table of contents, pretty straightforward. Um, I'll make one more note. Um, you don't have to do everything in your notebook here. Um, I recommend making the notebook as useful for you as possible. And so um, that means that you're probably going to include notes over new stuff that you're learning that you have to watch a video over, but you're probably not going to include things like mastery challenge problems and stuff like that. Um, so let's go ahead and continue. Um, so let's say you are um, working on uh, the latest assignment for uh, Khan Academy. And so you're looking at the recommendations that I've given you and you notice that there's two kinds that I see here. I tried to show you both. Um, this orange one here um, is overdue. Um, that It turns orange when it's overdue and it's blue when it's not due yet. Um, so you can see this one's due tomorrow at 4 p.m. Um, you may want to notice that I'm in the world of math. Um, all your recommendations show up if you're in the world of math. Um, and so uh, these ones that are recommended by me that are due tomorrow, they are indeed due tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look at the units one here. I open up my practice. I'm going to notice first that I can use a calculator on this practice. Um, and I'm looking at this convert 21 meters to micrometers. I'm looking at that. I'm not actually sure how to do it. If that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and think about watching the video and taking some notes. Um, so there's the video. I'll start it in just a second. But it looks like he's going to do this whole big problem here. And so I'm going to go back to my notebook here. I'm going to have my notebook ready um, when I'm working on uh, Khan Academy. And I'm again, I'm going to divide my page up. And this is sort of a, a Cornell notes structure um, for taking notes. It's a way to try to increase the likelihood that you'll remember um, what you're working on. And so I've divided the page up uh, like that to start. I might move this over just another couple of lines. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select a slightly smaller font here. Um, I'm going to put my date up here. So I'm doing this on the 14th. 
Um, and I'm going to put that in the top corner so I can remember it. Um, I need to put my date up here in this corner. Or sorry, not date, page number. Um, and then I'm going to put the name of what I'm doing. So if you look back at my Khan Academy thing, this is called Squirrel Survival, but the practice is called Units. So I would put the name of the practice skill on my Khan Academy for on Khan Academy in my notes. So it's Units, and again, I can put Algebra Topic, so I can remember that quickly if I'm looking back through my notes. Um, this little section here is for the big question that. Um, is covered by the Khan Academy video, and you'd write that big question here. Um, that's something you will likely have to come back to um, if you're not sure about it going in. And so you can watch the video, try to process some of the information. If you need help coming up with that big question, I can certainly help you out. And so um, looking back at the video, he's going to answer this big problem here. And so the first thing I'm going to do in my notebook is write down that big problem, or whatever problem he's going to solve, in this section of my notebook. And so there I've got a squirrel running across the road and blah, blah, blah. Over here, I'm going to label that as the problem. Um, and so I can tell exactly where the problem starts. And as you can might, you might imagine, it's going to have the solution down here. Now I know in uh, Cornell notes, usually this area over here is reserved for the um, questions that the notes are answering, uh, but that's a little bit more difficult in mathematics and it's especially difficult with Khan Academy because Khan Academy is already uh, very focused. Um, so you can put problem and solution uh, because there may not be additional questions for you to ask. I'm going to leave a section at the bottom of my notes for a summary. Um, so as I'm watching the video, He's going to introduce some things to us. To run nine feet round and you might notice that he's underlining some stuff, and so I could go back to my notes, and I could definitely underline some of the same stuff. 12 feet per second, there it is right there, and nine feet, and I bet he's going to underline this stuff, and 100 feet per second, and then uh, the big question at the end. And so you can use a highlighter, or you can underline stuff. Um, so that you are aware of the important information. That's a good way to practice problem solving. You have to understand things well. And Mr. Khan does a pretty good job of demonstrating that. Um, so he's going to continue solving All I did the is problem. I took this information right he's over here, 12 feet things, per second. And he's going through his work. He's going to continue to work, and he's writing all this stuff down. Um, you should probably write down the same stuff. And so I'm going to record all the work that he does in this section that I've labeled solution. Um, and there it is right there. Um, and so that assumes that I've watched the whole video. You might notice that you get points for watching videos. Um, I've gone through the whole video. Hopefully I have a better understanding of things. And at this point, for Cornell Notes, the thing that you should do is to try to write a summary of what's going on in this page. And you may not know it at this point because we didn't watch the whole video or you haven't watched this video yet, but um, this particular video um, is a really focused thing called unit analysis. Um, and it basically says if you if you know what units your answer should be in, you can take the given information and multiply it by ratio so the right units cancel. So that's my summary. The summary is sometimes difficult to write. If you need help with it, again, I can help you out, but I'm going to help you practice that so you can get better at it. You want to come back and write um, an essential question as well. Um, and for this one, I think the essential question is how... Whoa, that's playing a little weird here. Let's try right here. How do you use units to solve problems? So I've got a really nice page of notes there that I can refer back to um, because I had to write down a big question and I've taken notes over all this stuff and I'm sure it's right. Um, and I've got a summary. I've had to process that information in multiple ways um, and so it's more likely that I'm going to remember it. Um, so the usefulness of this is that I can now refer back to this when I go back and start working on the problems. And so this one says I have to get five in a row correct. Uh, I am going to do that practice in my notebook. Okay, and so I went ahead and I already did this practice once. Um, so we're going to look at some of my work here. And so I went through Khan Academy and I processed and did, did my best on several problems. The first one I got wrong because I didn't round it to the right thing. This one says there's no rounding on this one, but some of the problems have rounding. And so I put an X here because I, when I did the problem, I got a little X right here. 
So I'm just going to punch that in so it shows up. So I got this x, and so when you get the x, you should note it. And then the next thing you should do is you should, after you've already missed the problem, take those hints, if you haven't taken them already, and see how the answer should have worked out so that you can make a note for yourself. Don't forget to round to the tenth. So that next time you do a problem like this, you know that you did it wrong here, and you have a reason why you did it wrong. And that'll help you get better at it in the future. Um, the next several problems I did a good job of. I got checks on all three of them. And so the first time I went through this, it only asked me to get three in a row correct. So I got it. Um, and so that's how I recorded my practice. It was on page four um, in my notebook so that I can refer back to it later. So that, let's say I'm working on a mastery challenge and a units problem comes up, and this is not one of them. Um, I can refer back to these two pages in my notebook because it's open notes um, to see what I can do to get better at it and get it right. Um, so that's basically what I want you to do for Cornell notes um, and for your practice. Um, when we get to the project portion of things, I'm going to ask you to enter that stuff as well. So like on page five, I might have the purpose of algebra project. And that's going to ask me to answer a bunch of questions. And those questions, I'm going to answer in my notebook as a preparation for the final product um, so that I have a complete record of all the stuff I've done this semester. Um, and we'll continue to work through this notebook throughout the rest of the semester. Um, again, try to make it as useful a notebook as possible for you um, so that this becomes a resource. Um, if, you, if you can become a good math note taker, um, there's no math class that you can't exceed, or sorry, excel in. Um, Thanks for listening.